Hello and welcome to Great Garment Graphics Online. I'm Mel Mybers and in this session we will look at the vectorizing tool in CADWorksLive.com. We will also manipulate some text and create vertical text using CADWorks. This is from our webinar of September 10th, 2009, CADWorks for the Seasons. We'll begin by going to create a design in CADWorks. That will bring up my new project page. This is where I'll do the design work. And we'll begin by going to the vectorizing tool on the, on the left hand side here under Add Objects. When I clicked on my, click on my vectorizing tool, you can see here these are the files that you can bring in. These are the different uh, file extensions. And if you go to Browse, this will bring up what's on your hard drive of your computer. I've already brought a picture in here, so I'm going to go to page 3 here and select my Halloween design. And if you notice in the, in the instructions here on the vectorizing page, uh, it wants you to click on the background color of your uh, image. This is typically white. In this case, it's, it's white here. Now we're going to do things a little bit different today because I'm going to take this design that has a lot of detail in here. If you look at the moon here, it has a lot of craters. Uh, the chest of the uh, owl here, he has a lot of detail in there around the eyes and the bark on the tree. And I'm only going to make this a single color, so I'm going to do a little bit different today. For my background color, I'm actually going to select a foreground color. I'm going to go to the black and the bat here and then go next. And on this page here, they want you to select foreground colors, and it says pick up the three foreground colors and you can go actually up to nine colors but I'm sure if you're doing cutting you might not want to go that many colors on this but it's asking for foreground colors now we're doing things in reverse today and I'll show you why in a moment here so my foreground colors I'm actually going to select the white background color and go next and what it does it gives me a negative look but for me doing one color it'll make the lines nice and sharp so there's my design. There's still some detail in here, like the feet of the owl, uh, around the eyes, some lot, lot of detail in the bark, and also in the moon that I want to get rid of. So what I want to do right now, the region resolution set at 7. I want to change that to 15. Hit apply. And as you'll be able to see, it took, took a lot of the detail. And it didn't change the integrity of the design. It actually looks really sharp and it's really in a negative form right now which is which I want for my design so I'm going to hit finish and there's my design it's ready to send over to a cutter because uh, it is vector art right now however I don't want the rectangle going around the design so if I select the design I'm going to go up to my shaping tool and in my shaping tool I'm going to break apart the curves And you can see that it's loading right now. So I'm going to go now back to my design, select a rectangle, hit delete, and delete that out of there. Now, that's the part of my design here. I'm going to add some text to it now. So I'm going to go to Add Text. Over under Add Objects here, I'm going to Add Text. And this is my uh, text page here. So I'm going to go first, and where it says Sample, that's where I'm going to add a, my word Halloween. I'm going to change the font on that, and I'm going to use a font called Creaky, Creaky Frank, I believe. There we go. And right now I can change the character spacing and text direction. Uh, I can do a lot of changes on here but I'm going to just say OK and I'm going to set it above the design here I'm going to bring it in a little bit here that looks pretty good okay so now I'm going to do some manip manipulation to all that because it looks very symmetrical I want to change to make it a little bit more exciting so I'm going to go to my shaping tool 
break apart the curves. And now I'm going to take individual letters here and just change them slightly. They got a little bit more exciting. There, that looks pretty good. Okay. And you can change that to your heart's content, so do anything you want. Now I'm also going to add another, some more text to it. So go back to add text again. This time I'm going to put the year in here, 2009. And for my font, I'm going to go back to Creaky Frank. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to make this a vertical text. And a real easy way to do that in CAD works is go to text direction and put in our 270 degrees. And now I've got a nice vertical text. Move it off to the side a little bit. I want to squish that together. Slide that into my design. Now, so it looks like everything else. I want to go to my shaping tool again and break that apart. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go up to my edit here. I make sure I select everything in my design. Go to my shaping tool and combine it to make sure it's grouped together. all one piece now. Okay, so anywhere I click on the design now, it will select the whole item. As you can see right now, it's uh, 10.91 inches on the width and the height is 10.93. I want to make that uh, on the width 12 inches. Type in 12, hit enter on my keyboard. Now we have it at 12 inches. Okay, so I'm ready to send to my cutter. So out to the output uh, option on the uh, left hand side, I'm going to send a vector cut. That is my cutting software. And so you can view it real well. I'm going to go to fit objects. Now there's my design. You can see the, the cutter will see all the lines in here. There's actually a, an easy weed. It's like a two weed out of there. Uh, that's a single weed on the eye. The bark in the tree, all that's all one weed there. Around the bat's face is all one weed. So it's a real easy weed on this design. We just got to mirror that, send to my cutter, and we're finished cutting. And now I'll show you the final results on this. If you have any questions at all, just uh, give us a call. Again, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can contact me through greatgarmentgraphics.com.